So, here I am trying to sort out my collection of pogs. And as you can see, I've got myself into a bloody mess. Um, these things are everywhere. I thought it was about time to try sorting them out. Because I just accumulate them, I dump them in one spot. And like, as you can see, this is kind of what happens to the boxes. Yeah. But everything inside, I guarantee you, it should be fine. Like, some alien pogs, brand new, not opened. <clears throat> so, yeah, um, well, I had a brainwave that I shall sort out my pogs today. Um, and as you can see, it's like it's like a nuclear pog has just hit my room. Um, it's overtook everything. Uh, <clears throat> I ain't got a well. I tried starting as you can see. Um, tried arranging certain pogs, different ones from different types. Um, I've added them up into my collection, into the files. You can see here I've got me uh, my Tazo one. Uh, I think this was the first one that actually come out. Well, in England it did anyway. Um, yeah, I've pretty much got all the Tazos, man. Um, the only thing we're trying to collect these Tazos um, is this. <sighs> you will come across loads of them. And, like, you know, all these would probably fit in there about 20 times over. But, it's crazy how much these people knocks out these pogs. But I've got the full collection, so I'm happy. As you can see. You see I'm that better with them all printed on instead of the actual individual pogs. Um we've got the uh, the monster munch ones. And I'm not sure if I've got all I think I have. Um this isn't all of them, there's some more elsewhere. Um, and these, there you go, there's some more like monster lunches mixed in there. As you can see, I've just not got nothing sorted. I just whacked it in everything just to make it neat and tidy, but that sort of backfired. Well, today it has anyway. Nothing's neat and tidy about my bedroom today. But, I have to say, these ones, well, I have to say in general, all these pogs gave me great satisfaction as a child. When these come out, these were the bomb, the thing to have. Um, uh, you know, especially your official ones, which you know, looks something like this. Um, let me see that. That's a Snoop one. Yeah, that's very nice. Well, there's all kind of varieties from football ones to skips, the packet of crisps you used to get in those, and walkers, monster munch, obviously. Um, the skips one is like your, your mask, um, cartoon things on there, your Batman ones. I don't think I've got all the Batmans, but we'll come to that when we cross them. We'll go back to this here. Um, yeah, so these... Um, we wouldn't have really played about with these much. Um, I'll show you here. Um, as you can see, there's nothing on the back to sort of brand them, um, number them. You know, you know, if you look on, there's nothing on the pictures. Just, well, pictures, no numbers. Yeah. So, yeah, we'd have classed these as fake pogs um, as a kid. Um, We'd rarely, um, well, we'd, we wouldn't play with these with strangers anyway because they just take the piss. Simple as that. Um, so we'd avoid it. They were just there to sort of make, you know, make your stack look big. Um, that's what I used them for anyway. Or I'd, you know, stupid trades like, you know, that full sheet for one decent, you know, authentic pog. <laughs> But yeah, this is what we'd have called fake. Um, not many of us would have had these, you know, unless you was on a budget and you couldn't really afford these ones. 
can't remember how much they were now. I don't think there was that much though. But you know, some people had that trouble, um, which is why they referred to these and got these shiny ones. Um, but like I said, you'd find it hard to find people to play with with those in England anyway. Um, yeah, so that's the red tassel one. We'll get that out of the way. And then there was the green tassel book one, the world tassel. But sadly, there doesn't seem to be that much in the collection. As you can see, I've only got, you know, I've got them all there. And there's just one sheet, uh, 51 to 70. Um, just thought it was a bit, you know, on the light side compared to the red folder, which has, you know, quite a few pages of the tassels in. Um, yeah, so that's a red tassel and the green tassel file. Um, I have actually got the Star Wars tassel. Um, this is completely full. Um, I'm amazed how immaculate it still is after so many years. It's as if you've just got it from the news agents, I tell you the truth. Uh, God, I remember trying to get this bugger. This was, I think this was actually the last one. I couldn't believe it. It's the last one in the book. And it was the last pog I got. And I don't think I ever got lucky enough to get it in a packet a crisp. Um, I think I had to trade that um, to get that bugger. Um, it's a little bit disheartened because, like, as you can see, the pog itself's a bit faded. Let's see the black. But... Uh, Tell you that didn't fade me when I bloody got it. Sheesh, it took me ages. But yeah, that's the Star Wars one. Like, it's a pity though they didn't do a Star Trek one of these now. I'd have loved that. That'd have been off the chain. Um, especially Voyager. Voyager's my bag. Uh, Voyager's my baby. Right, so yeah. And there is actually another Tazzle um, book one. I've come across it on eBay actually, but yeah, it was quite a lot of monies um, can't remember which one it was now but yeah these are third one um, if I can get it cheap enough if I can win it cheap enough I'll get it but I'm not paying ridiculous amounts of money for it not just yet anyway um, yeah so they're like the basic walkers ones out of the way um, and then I've got this little beauty here. Um, it's the official collector's pog file nice I don't know, that's some kind of plastic you know, cushion inside, quite feels nice though. Um, there's nothing in these, these are just like, just your packets of the pogs, you won't really see these two about anymore. Um, got plenty of these, I'll be getting rid of some of these on eBay. Um, if the channel picks up, does well, you know, gets positive feedback, I like what I see, then giveaways. Um, when I say giveaways, uh, you know, there's quite a lot of them here. So, yeah, keep your eyes open for that. There you go. So, right back in this file is uh, I've actually got the I think these are the first series. Um, I have actually got one to seventy. There you go. Well, that's number two, but you know, get that back in there. Right. Well, that is actually number one. This one here, right, there you go, number one. And you come all the way down here, turn the page. I think we have to turn again. There's quite a lot of these ones, but yeah, I'm pretty psyched that um, I, I have actually got hopefully the first pogs going. There's a limited 70. Last bog. Butte. If I'm breathing a bit hard, I do apologise. Um, well, lack of exercise, no no excuse there. We move on to the World Tour ones. Um, like I said, I've not really got them in order yet. Um, but I think these are like third in the line from. The first pogs, these will tour third or fourth anyway. Can't be so certain. And then there's some empties there for me to uh, put some of those in there. 
If they add up right anyway. Um, got some more but no, oh, these are the whammers. Uh, I'd say these are the Americanish ones. Uh, we didn't really have these over here, these ones, and if we did they weren't that many. Um But there's some crazy pictures on these ones. Uh, maybe not these ones here, but as we get deeper into the book. There you go, mad monster caps. More mad monsters. A bit more of the tassels. Some of the worlds. I'm not sure if I've got them or just they didn't fit in the actual um, box. Uh, probably don't need those in there because, like I say, I've got every single one in there. Uh, Batman. Uh, I'm pretty bummed that I didn't have, actually have them all. Um, I thought I did have. But, as you can see, I'll do this. There's quite a few missing. Well, there's a lot missing on that side. I've only got like one, two, three, four, six, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 15, there you go, they're all in order, you can see on the back there's but Batman here, hopefully I can come across more of those um, I said probably got some more over there, didn't really get that far into it I do like this, I don't, I've never seen the space caps before, it's in it's own little bag And it's quite neat actually. Um, all American, you know, cause I'm American Eagle there, bit of the flag, NASA spaceship, nice. And some more empties, and I think these are your American Pog packets. I suppose this one is as well. Um, and your recent, that's what they come, the latest ones they did. Uh, I don't know what happened to them. Never heard of them yet until so I come across them. The Batmans and the big deals. So that will be one of my best files when I can get it all sorted. And then come on here, hopefully with a channel, the ones I've not got. You lot can help me out with that, hopefully. Because uh, I don't, there's nothing more than not having a full set of anything. Um, it's frustrating. <clears throat> And to me, it just makes the collection look weird when you've got, you know, pogs missing in the files and whatnot. Right, um, let's get on to this other cap collection album. I think this is again from America. We didn't really see these over here. Um, Monsters. I wish it was, was it the mum? It is no way. Look at that. There's Monster. Where's little Johnny? Where's the little looking Eddie? I don't see Eddie. Oh, I hope I've got Eddie, man. Used to look like him as a kid myself. Um, let's go on the I don't know, I ain't got Get some decent, like, funky ones, Indian. These are about loads of these. Um, I don't know, I might have to get a new folder for those because there's quite a lot of those. Um, I think. Oh, they're over there anyway in some pot or whatnot. So, that's my third album. No, first, second, third, fifth album. I said these, that other Walker's Looney Tunes one or whatever it is. Um, but, but yeah, 70 quid. Doctor Money. Uh, <clears throat> we do have these little little game boxes. Um, I've emptied them out to try and sort everything. Just kept one here for you. Um, it's actual mint, if you can see. Um, it's all there. Right, I'll show you. There's the um, Pog Slammer mat. You know, you put your Pogs on here. Face side ups. Just put some on. I put enough on there just so I can show you that I can actually do it. Last time I did it, none of the buggers flipped over. Right. Oh. Let me get a slammer. We'll go with this thick one. We'll 
little space rocket one and the name of the game is you just uh, gosh didn't even do that time right, well, I've lost my touch a bit right, let's see uh, right uh, one more try and then I'll give up <laughs> um, I wasn't this bad as a kid let's put some more on just so I can there we go I should be able to get that ready I want three pogs. So that's how it goes. Um, not rocket science, really, is it? But yeah. So you, that's just when you're playing out and about, you know, outside, concrete, put that down. Don't mark your uh, slammers. I've got one of these slammers. I'll show you some. Um, Hopefully on this video, hopefully it doesn't go too long, it's been going for 15 minutes already. Oh yeah. This little cartoon of Pog. I think I'm, I'm sure they, they made a cartoon of this, an actual cartoon. I'm sure I used to watch it. Um, but it's great to see it again to be honest. Bring back some memories. There you go, 100% authentic. It's just the rules. How do you play? It tells you down there. Um, there's your rules. Pretty crazy. It's in decent condition. It's like nearly 20 years old. I've got some variety of pogs in here. Uh, just set it up so you can see what it's like, really. Uh, metals. Uh, all the pogs, which ones are these? Milk caps, no. Cool caps. I think I remember those ones. Oh yeah. Right. And a little free bit. And I got some pogs. Um, I think it's fret pen good or good enough to give me a free gift. Um, after we got over our little hurdle. Uh, I was quite new to eBay. Somebody, uh, well, basically, I just left the wrong feedback for the wrong person, and he ended up blocking me, and I couldn't buy any pogs off him. Um, <laughs> so I had to go back crawling, saying sorry. I uh, didn't realise what I did. Um, yeah, but luckily he forgave me, and this was a free gift. It's very nice. And got some top trumps. Uh, I don't know. They're like. I don't know what the, what you do. We, we never played with those. Pogs, yeah. Trumps, no. Uh, some whammer slammers, I think. I'm not sure if it's just one slammer um, and the rest are pogs, but could be wrong. Could be wrong. Uh, here's my little pog monster right here. Let's put him there. Uh, chill out, bud. Cool is that, man? Oh, he's got something going on with oh no, he's got some pog freckles, uh, teeth are massive, I thought mine were big. <laughs> Good, very rare. Um, pretty hard to get hold of really, quite glad I've got that. Um, yeah, so I've showed you that one box. Um, let's just put it away. There you go, I've got a few more that I need to stock up really. Star Trek box, which I can show you. I got a full box there. I don't know if ever ever open it. I do have another box. Um, just don't know where that one is at the moment. But yeah, Star Trek. That's my game. Like I say, it's a shame they didn't go into depth with Star Trek and Pogs a bit better. Um, like as you can see. The next generations, it will more or less focus on the next generations with like merch, merchandise, Star Trek stuff, uh, pogs, like that. Um, but I'm more of a Voyager fan. Um, so yeah, I've got loads of the Voyager cards as well, trading cards, which I've not got those out, you know, just one thing at a time, man. Pogs, pogs, pogs. Um, yeah, there's my beauty. Voyager. 71 out of 500 I'll show you a bit more on that um, I was really gutted when this come Parcel Force just went to town on it I'll tell you that in a different video um, yeah 
or I'll, I'll, I'll get it wound up again over it. Um, but yes, yeah, Star Trek's my cup of tea. Um, yes, I know before you say the figures around the Voyager are not actually from Voyager. Um, they're from Enterprise. This is good. Besides the Zindi saga, I just thought that took too much of the season up. Um, and they could have done a lot more with new aliens and... Yeah. Idiots. But, you know, that's what happens when they don't have bloody money to finish the series. But you don't start a series with no money. Ah, I've got these boys. Um, these, I don't know, I just... Seeing them and I thought, yeah, they're kind of nice and... I don't know if you can see them, they've got like King Kawakala, whoever he is. God, who are these people? I have no idea. It was cool. Cool. Um, I'm sure they're the big deals, aren't they? So, there's a big deal one. And the alien ones. Some more alien ones. Yeah. We'll move over here. This is what like, this is what we call real pogs. Um, obviously, as soon as you see the little ginger cretin pog, he's your guy. Uh, I've got quite a few of these. I might say, um, if we do well here, possibly, you know, a couple of prizes for giveaways. We've got the Kinney's ones. Basically, these are just the slammers. Um, some, well, I think you're not getting a chunky one in that one. Um, that feels a decent one. These are the actual pog pogs. You get one slammer and then um, four milk caps, you know, four pogs. Uh, that's that. We've got the classic ones. And these, well, I don't know, I just thought I'd get them. I never remembered them, though, I just... also have in the collection, really. Um, but I'll show you what these look like, if I can just find one. There we go. I just never understood them, because these are the ones. Let me see. I don't understand the... Uh, the staple, you see. Why have they left the staples in all these pogs? Every pack you open, they've got the stable staples in. Um, I don't understand why. Unless they're a default box or something, I have no idea. Um, but they are original, they are not numbered. But that's how the classic ones look. Um, yeah, I think I'll be relying on those as a more giveaway. But it just all depends on what's cracking. So, there's those. And there's the book thing. Yeah, they're kind of cool. Got these ones. These Pepsi, uh, Coke, Coca Cola, sorry. Um, we never had these in England. We never played with these. I just bought them because I'd never seen them before. Um, I think there's some about. Uh, somewhere I have no idea where right. yeah. I've right. got loads in as well so yeah that's um, one muddled up pod collection um, and hopefully the next video will be showing you how I've arranged them all and you'll be able to see them better uh, in order um, and uh, in range really because obviously you know some of them are different the pogs will be different in different varieties um, yeah I've uh, kind of covered -ish -ish. Ah, yes. these ones here just the kidneys though um, these ones will be on ebay soon enough uh, if you're lucky enough and uh, the channel does well giveaways giveaways man giveaways 
So, kind of cool. So that's me signing off. Um, oh yeah, yeah, I'll tell you about those different video. It's me old school uh, WWF. There you go, legit. Now, Clan, that's the world heavyweight. I uh, don't know if you'll be able to see. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Just about make out Chris Benoit's name there. Who else? I have got the undisputed. Um, but I need to get Eddie Guerrero's name tag. Uh, when I get that, that bad boy will be on show too. Um, Eddie Guerrero and Chris Benoit. Banging. Right. Pog video over and out. Hopefully I'll speak to you soon. And uh, yeah, give you an update. Ta-ra. Deals.